So is what we see behind us, is that typical this, this summer? This is, uh, this field of Durham is actually uh, one that would be typical of the Regina area where the burn-off had got the weeds in question. Uh, early kochia, uh, buckwheat, uh, some in initial wild oats. But I think as we uh, look forward into how the, the crop is emerged, we've got an excellent Durham stand here. But uh, emerging wild oats later. So critical in this case, you can see the grower has uh, sprayed this land. Uh, you've got wild oats ranging from, you know, just young seedlings to uh, well-established wild oats that it's critical in his case to use a product for Durham that would be aggressive on wild oats. In, in this case, uh, something like a new product like Traxos, for example. Okay. So, it, did a lot of guys get the wild oats uh, in their glyphosate burnoff? I think, uh, I think as far as getting the wild oats in, in the burn off, it, w it was very minimal. I think in this case, we didn't have a lot of heat. We had a cool, wetter spring in the southern prairies, uh, especially in the Regina area. Sorry, the mosquitoes are just terrible here today. And um, yeah, I think what happened is the heat units decided to come at a later stage and brought the wild oats after the burn off. So as you can see uh, in this field, uh, they're coming quite intense. So based on the wild oats that we're seeing in the Regina area, so as soon as guys can get in and spray, they should be doing that? Early, early weed removal is, is recommended and something that is aggressive on wild oats. They, they're stealing the, the nutrients for the plant, uh, all the nitrogen, and um, having, having a wild oat product that can be aggressive on the wild oats and stop them in their path and let the durum carry on is, is what's going to be needed in this case. So we're at the time where we're seeing, you know, guys are thinking about wild oat control. Um, what are some of the factors or things that guys need to think about before they hit the field to control wild oats? I know, I know we've talked about the burn off being ahead of the wild oat emergence and uh, our wheat growers are finding that in many cases the crop is coming up with a nice stand but it's full of wild oats. And I know that uh, we have noticed in our studies that having a product that works quickly and effective on wild oats is going to lead to obviously early weed removal and produce a higher yield by having those nutrient scavengers as one person uh, explained it to me before uh, in a wild oat, stealing that nitrogen, uh, in some cases the moisture. But uh, that speed of performance in products, uh, you know, name a few, few like Axial and Traxos, providing that, that ability to kill them quickly and effectively, but thoroughly, and uh, shut them down before they're stealing all the nutrients. So is earlier control better? To give that crop its ultimate uh, competition for light, controlling the, the yield robbing pests like wild oats and other grassy weeds, uh, quickly is, is ultimate important. So, um, what, what kind of yield drag potentially do wild oats bring? I know that in the studies that, that Syngenta has brought forward to the market on evaluating what effect that does the wild oat have on yield and comparing different products. In comparing uh, some of Syngenta's brands, our newer brands, to to group two technologies, you can add about a two bushel gain in our results over just by, by paying attention to what herbicide option you're using in your, in your wheat. So are, are wild oats an ongoing problem or is, there, is that a problem that we're going to be able to eradicate or is it this just kind of, we just got to stay ahead of the wild oats? I think wild oats have been a problem since uh, well before my time and um, I think they're going to continue well on into the future. So you know what, it's very important for growers to manage what they're doing in their herbicide rotations and ultimately plan ahead to knowing what is the best option at the best time uh, to control the pests that they want to control. Uh, so what can we do in, our in terms of managing a rotation? What can we do in our rotation to help manage wild oats? I think what growers are doing is uh, managing their, their crops, first of all, and picking herbicide options within those crops that allow them to use better technologies when they get to the crop that they need. So as an example, in wheat, for wheat growers, 
We have an option uh, in a resistance test at, a, at our research lab in Portage La Prairie. So they can use that as an option to, to pre-plan if they want to use a product, say like Axial as an example, and we'll allow them to know with confidence if this product will perform for them on their farm.